as someone personally afflicted with Morgellons, which by all means is in fact one of the biggest crimes against humanity yet, not that any of you need reminded of that fact, especially not my fellow brothers and sisters whom are personally afflicted with Morgellons. There's no doubt an absolute amount of psychological warfare occurring to you emotionally and physically on every level. I just want to say that as somebody who's had to deal with this affliction that has dealt with it very much alone, I don't have a companion, I don't have a partner. I have an ex that gives me hell as well as a daughter that gives me hell 24-7. Negative chaos. Um, I just want to say I follow a small handful of fellow brothers and sisters that are in fact afflicted with Morgellons in order to relate to them on that level and to learn from them. Um, I just want to bring about the fact that as I watch those that are also afflicted with Morgellons, how it hangs me so. Because I, I want to choose my words here carefully so as not to offend any of my fellow afflicted brothers and sisters here. Um, but when I've, you know, approach this differently on handling how I approach more gallons and, you know, the diet changes the positive attitude, the positive affirmations and, you know, I'm not going to sit here and play like it's all hunky-dory by any means. I'm not going to insult myself or those afflicted and, and try to minimize it by any means. However, I choose not to play the victim of circumstance because I know that genuinely we've all been subject to it via chemtrails, courtesy of chemtrails, thank you chemtrails, and those that did this to us. Yes, I get that. It is my approach though and my positive attitude that helps me feel better on a daily basis and it pangs my heart to see my fellow brothers and sisters that are still afflicted, that are still struggling to remain that positive attitude despite it because although I may not feel a hundred percent well, I feel a heck of a lot better when I do mind over matter, apply the positivity and the happiness the best degree possible I, I've seen just in myself over the past several months what a great change that has had within myself and the way I feel. And so when I see those of you afflicted with it as myself that are still struggling with this, it it pangs my heart. I, I hurt for y'all. And as an empath, I've got to be real careful not to... Um, carry the pain or emotions or energies of others. That's really crucial. It's very imperative. Because in order to get well, especially when you're already in a negative environment, you have to focus on you and the positivity despite the situation in order to feel better. It's a must. Especially once you learn that the global elite even through doctors and everything you thought was good for you and big pharma and medications. Those things are not <clears throat> necessarily your answer. They're not necessarily the things that will make you well. The people trying to treat Morgellons, Morgellons half of them are freaking clueless. <clears throat> they don't have a clue. So I guarantee you if somebody told me they had a 100% cure-all. I would question it. 
you know, and maybe another pharmaceutical release to make big money. See what I'm saying? I'd rather apply, you know, our human vessels are a wonderful, um, resilient, um, Merkaba. If you can believe in the power of your prayer and your affirmations and the healing abilities of this, it can work for you. It can work for you. I, I, I can't say if I'm 100% healed or not, but I do not focus the attention on it. I do not, and I'm happier for it. Rather than combating it and being the resistance, I focus on the positivity, knowing that 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 the universe will, in fact, support that. I try to put it in a positive limelight, so to speak. And if I know that it can make me happy, you could understand why it hurts me to see the rest of you struggling still. Um, and I, I get it. I absolutely get it, guys. I do. And please don't hate on me. You know, um... I, I understand completely. I do. I do. I do. And y'all must be, make, you know, think I'm absolutely insane for having this perspective. And I'm in no means trying to diminish what's actually occurring to us because I'm not. I understand how horrific it is. I get it. I get it. I absolutely get it. And I love you guys. And I so admire your courage, your tenacity, your strength, your... I do, I do, I do. And I feel you. I feel you completely. But i got to be careful not to get wrapped up in your suffering. For my own sake, as somebody else afflicted, I can't get too wrapped up in that. Because then I play victim. And then the... The negativity you feed will come back to you. If you stop being the resistance and you focus on the more positive, <clears throat> I can only tell you from my own experience what has worked for me. And that was to sing my way through it. That was to be happier despite it. And not to play victim, even though, yes... I understand. I know what you guys are going to say. But why don't you try it? Before you just hate on me. Just listen to my words. You know, most of us listen to somebody's words in order to give a reply. But we don't listen to understand. Please listen to what I tell you. Try to understand and apply it. My only hopes are that somehow I can encourage my brothers and sisters who are also afflicted with this horrific ailment so that they may get better or to feel better on a daily basis. That, that's all I can hope for. I love you guys and it, it truly pings my heart to hear so many of you still so detriment, detrimentally suffering and so much focus on it even though I know it's hard and very challenging not to it's necessary for your survival to be more positive despite it all pray apply the power of prayer find your happy center despite it and we have to rely on God Creator, Divine Source. It is a must. And just know that we have to let go and let God. It's truly in His hands. Especially with Morgellons. Taking that medication, especially with when these doctors don't even understand it, may be toxifying your system and doing more harm than good. So please think twice. Much love. Snowbug.